Heya folks, it's Kikoskia here. This video contains scenes that may not be suitable for people who suffer from epilepsy. Please keep this in mind if you choose to watch this video. Thank you, and on with saving Britannia! And Avatar Tax, because of course! Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension, and when last we left off, we managed to make our way through the remaining puzzles in the Dungeon Shame, and make it to the column. We grabbed an awesomely powerful weapon that just happened to be lying around nearby, the Lightning Blade, and then had at thee with the guard. The Worm Guard guarding the column is by far the trickiest foe in the game up to this point, even more challenging than the Lich. She hits hard, hits fast, and has a lot of health, though she moves very slowly, like most human opponents, and doesn't have any ranged capability whatsoever. She has no bow, and she has no spells, which means that you can attack her in melee until your health gets too low, and then you can back up, heal, and then keep attacking, and that's exactly what I did. It's preferable to use your glass swords to deal huge amounts of damage really quickly, and then finish her off, but I want to save my glass swords, as there are foes later in the game who will be very challenging indeed, even more challenging than her, mainly because there'll be quite a few of them. Defeating her opened up the way into the column, and we got the glyph, but getting the chalice proved to be a lot more tricky, because Blackthorn beat us to it. He proposed a trade. We give him the codex lenses, which we didn't have in our inventory and yet could still give to him because of a programming oversight, and in return, he gives us the chalice. Of course, this is a terrible deal, and doing that would doom the world, so we said no, and Blackthorn in anger destroyed the Chalice of Honor, proclaiming that our quest was a failure because there was no way that we could cleanse the Shrine of Honor without the sigil. And this is when Dupre's spirit appeared and went, actually, no, that's not true. The Chalice is merely a symbol of the idea of honor, and any of the chalices in this room can be the Chalice of Honor. You just need to make the people of Trinsic believe in their honor once again, and it will become that once more. Getting them to believe is going to be very tricky, on account of the virtue being corrupted and there only being one paladin left who doesn't really believe in his own honor anymore, but we'll give it our all. Before we go back to Trinsic, however, there is one item that we want. So let's drop this, and we'll drop these as well. Actually, we will, uh, where is the, uh, this one? We'll drink this one, because we're going to be going underwater in a moment for a piece of treasure. We're actually doing quite well when it comes to grabbing all of the magical stuff in the game. There are only a few more things that I haven't got, and one of them is in the lake to the east. Now, there are going to be some hellhounds, and you'd think that they wouldn't be able to uh, do very much when it's raining, but they don't care. Have at thee! That fire's going to hurt us, though not by much. This sword, however, is going to absolutely obliterate you. And obliterated the hellhound was. Now, what we want is down here in the water, so let's go grab it. You see those uh, leggings? They are ours now, and there is a uh, statue here that we could potentially go and talk to. That is, if the uh, statues are actually functioning properly, which I doubt they are. And they're not! That is probably where you have a conversation. However, we haven't had a conversation with Chamino for a very long time. And we can jump from there to here, and thus avoid those very dangerous fish. Which is good, because they can be quite dangerous. Over here is a uh, stone circle, and the lighthouse. Now, I don't think we have the gem at all for that one, let alone uh, back in Britain. So, let us ignore that for now, and make our way back to Trinsic. Trinsic is just over here, and we can go to Lucerno and tell him about the Chalice, because although it's not actually the Chalice of Honor right now, it will be. But first, here is a crab! And you know what we do to the uh, crabs, and that is not uh, opening up our spellbook, because we have at thee with them using our blade! Greetings! You wish to have at thee with the Avatar? That was not a smart idea. Victory is ours, and the gold that is currently, or was currently, on your shell is now mine. Now, we want to go to 
here. Actually, we want to go over to there, because there is where Lucerno is. So we shall head there instead. Also, magical water breathing! It's very handy, and the music has returned, which I'm very happy for, because I was a bit worried the music had gone away forever. That can happen in this game. Many things can happen in this game. I'm glad that uh, the music disappearing forever wasn't one of them. Okay, we're back here. We're going to ignore you, because you're still not going to uh, help us out. Let us speak with you, and tell you of our success. Though I doubt you're going to consider it a success. You still, after all, are questioning your honor. Hello, friend. Greetings! I have retrieved the Chalice of Honor. Really? Let me see it. I'm sorry, but that's not the Chalice of Honor. This cup is very plain, and there is no aura coming from it. I fear that you have been duped, my friend. Appearances can be deceiving. This will be the chalice. All it needs is the honor of the people to empower it. As I said, you have been duped. It is to my greater shame that you went and sought the chalice on your own. Had I gone with you, the true chalice may have been found. And I've just realized that we are wearing the magical leggings that I just grabbed from the lake. That was because I dragged them onto the avatar rather than into the backpack. We'll switch to the plate leggings in a moment. As for what these do, they give us uh, improved jumping capabilities, which would go some way to explaining how we were able to jump from the island in the middle of that lake back to the shore. Why don't I help you restore Trinzik's honor? Oh, that is very kind, but I don't think that anything can be done. I just... I don't know what to do. We know what to do. You're just not listening. Goodbye. And you're probably going to continue to not listen. Right, let's put these back on. And we have a uh, spare set, should we need them. We don't need them. Unfortunately, getting to where we want to go is going to involve having at the with some ghosts. So, let us ready our sword and... Have at thee. We don't get anything from this, but we do get to hear them wail at us. And isn't that the greatest thing? Disclaimer, not the greatest thing. If we're lucky, they haven't yet respawned. Though, we're not going to be so lucky. Also, we can't open doors while our sword is drawn. Also, that door is huge. I only just realized. Um, you're going to say something, aren't you? No, I actually got past you. Oh, ho ho! I'm happy for that. And there's nobody here. And nobody here either. Brilliant. What about here? Oh, there's you. This honorable fool! Flee before we destroy you! You are not fit to enter this place. Notice the subtitles cutting off the uh You were foolish model. enough to lose your honor. Will you be foolish enough to lose your life as well? And you're gonna have at thee. Unfortunately for you, one hit is all that's needed. Greetings, Avatar. I say, you must have done something that none of the rest of us have been able to do. The ghosts seem to have calmed down. I don't hear them at night anymore. I thank you, Avatar. No problem. Also, hold on a moment, just need to deal with the crab on the, uh, on the dock. Have at thee! You're not allowed to be here, you know. You can back up all you like, but you're not allowed to be here. But you will respawn because, of course you will. Now let us talk to you because you actually have something interesting to say. Greetings, Avatar. I know that you have performed many noble deeds. But why did you waste your time on that useless cup? Everyone knows that it's meaningless. It's not meaningless. What do you mean? The cup is the symbol of honor. Honor, huh? Maybe honor meant something a hundred years ago, but it doesn't mean much now. You sound just like the fellow who came around here the other day asking about the paladins. He wouldn't stop talking about honor. I bet he's still over there at the end talking everyone's ear off about honor. Oh? 
How do I place the sigil in the statue? Well, that's not the sigil. But to place it, you must set it at the foot of the statue. But I tell you, that isn't the chalice of honor. It's just a cup. But the cup could become the chalice. I've got to go now. Either way, we can't do anything here yet, but we have been given a hint that there is somebody in the inn that we'll want to talk to. So let's go to the inn. Unfortunately, this means going past these two ghosts. Please don't aggro. Who are you to come here, you living weaklings? Darn it. You are the ones who lost the Chalice of Honor. In stereo. When the Chalice was lost, so was Trinzik's honor. You must pay for this loss. You're right, we will pay for this loss. The price was listening to, uh, you two complain. Also, two strikes, and you're out. Literally. The inn is over here, and the rooms are those two buildings off from the inn. But there's a little bit of dialogue that we can get before we go and talk to the person there, starting with you. Hey, that's a nice looking cup you have there. Why don't you have Synovia here fill it up with something? Excuse me for a minute. Synovia, come here. I want to tell you something. She's not going to let us fill that cup with anything on account of her inn being closed in air quotes. You again, huh? Sorry, the place is still closed. What about that man who's staying in one of the rooms? Him? He was such a pest. I finally let him have a room. Besides, I'm charging him triple the cost of the room, and he doesn't even know it. So, we now know that the person who was asking about for the paladins is staying in the inn. Also, your dialogue was really quiet there, and I've no idea why. Another peculiarity of Ultima 9. Ah, there appears to be a uh, pair of archers by the lighthouse. Curious. Now, we're going to save here. And then, actually, have I already uh, made a save? I have already made a save. Silly me. We need to get into here. The door, however, is locked. It's still locked. All right. Now it's open. Don't ask why. That's just how that works. You just need to keep trying, and eventually he will open the door. It's probably just you banging on the door going, Let me in, I'm the Avatar! Either way, very important NPC here. Need to talk to this person to complete this part of the game, and, by extension, the game. I have a serious problem. Fae spiders have found their way through the portal and are invading my home. I would close the portal myself, but only paladins are equipped to do so. My family fought for Trinzic long ago and was promised assistance in times of need. But no one will honor the debt. Please! Help convince one of the paladins to honor their word and help me. We shall do so. I'll seek help. At least one of the paladins must retain feelings of honor. Thank you, Avatar. I will return home and do what I can. When you find help, please meet me at my house. It's on the small island to the southeast of town. We've been there, and we will go. Remember those spiders? That's his home. As for who we can uh, recruit, we only know one person that we can recruit. The only paladin that is left. So let's go have a conversation. And let's hope that those ghosts have not reappeared, because if they have, we're going to get a repeat of their wailing. Who are you to come here, you living weaklings? Darn it. You are the ones who lost the Chalice of Honor. I'm curious. When the Chalice was lost, so was Tri- Oh, that does end their dialogue. Interesting. So next time, I'll just hit them immediately. And that'll solve it. Okay, you are over there. And we will have a quick conversation with you and then head over to that house because this person was promised assistance. And if you are any kind of paladin, you will honor this agreement. You will honor 
your oaths. Hello, warrior. What do you wish of Lucero? That's different dialogue. I need the help of a paladin of Trinsic. I would like to help you, friend. I really would. I just don't know if I'm able to. I don't know if I am still a worthy paladin. You are a worthy paladin. Please, Lucero, I truly need your help. Oh, I don't know. I don't think there's anything that I could do to help. Snap out of it. Snap out of it, man. Your self-pity sickens me. I need your help now. You're right. I am riddled with self-doubt. I sicken myself. What can I do? You can help me. Please, Lucero, I truly need your help. Oh, I don't know. I don't think there's anything that I could do to help. We are going around in circles here. You're right. You're not a paladin. You're a coward. Goodbye. A coward? No. I'm not a coward. I've merely lost my honor. You need a paladin. How can I be a paladin if I have lost that which gave me honor? Don't you see? You're the source of your own honor, Lucerno. Look beyond your doubt. See the honor within your heart. Don't you see, Lucero? Nothing can give you honor except for yourself. I just don't know. I... I... Lucero! Listen to the Avatar. He speaks the truth. Honor is not an outward symbol. It comes only from within. Look inside your heart and you will find that you have lost nothing. By heavens, Dupre's ghost! How can that be unless it is the absolute truth? What need do you have of me? What can I do to help? A portal has opened near Virgil's house, and phase spiders have been pouring through it. I need you to seal that portal. Can you do it? I can and will. I have sat idly by for far too long. I will arm myself and meet you at the unfortunate man's house. Marvelous! And to praise Ghost disappears. I have done what I need to for the plot. I will go! And then to praise Ghost went. Also, I may be standing in a place that makes it difficult for that person to pathfind. What a shame. Let us head to there, because we need to go over that bridge. So, we need to go down. And, of course, we will find more uh, spiders along the way, because we always do. Uh, what did I say, spiders? I meant crabs. Spiders on the brain, because we're about to face some spiders. Let us equip our crab slaying stuff and get rid of a few crabs while we make our way there. Like you! Hello! At least we finally uh, talked sense into the last paladin, who hopefully can help Virgil with that phase spider problem. Uh, this is, yep, that's where we need to go because of that bridge. So we just need to cross this and, or just go over the water and go to that house. Now the paladin will be there, but we're going to divert a little bit just to defeat this crab because we do need a bit more money. Oh, for those curious, um, you can get another piece of black rock equipment from the Buccaneers Den uh, guild shop. But unfortunately, it's not available to be grabbed. You have to actually buy it. So we're not going to get it that way. There is another way to get it, though. I believe there is one piece of equipment, however, that is impossible to get unless you are a ranger. And we're not a ranger. So no luck there. We're not going to need it, though. We're probably going to wear the uh, Crown of Radiance instead. Now let us save, and let's see if we can go and lend a hand. And we need to be careful how we attack, because we could easily hit Virgil or Lucero. Can do! And we'll start by attacking this spider here. No, 
Now, this weapon is lightning based, and so we're probably not going to deal as much damage to this foe as we would with the normal sword. But we did win! You know what, while I'm thinking about that, let us switch to this here, because I think that lightning damage is really uh, being absorbed by the. Oh, we gained some karma there! So let's just attack here. Oh, and be careful because you have moved. If we keep them on that side, we'll be fine. And we've won! Hooray! Oh, you don't appear to be doing so well. Is this the other? It is. I have suffered a mortal wound, my friend, and I feel my strength draining away. But my spirit shall rest peacefully, for you have restored honor to the hearts of the people of my beloved Trinsic. It is you who brought honor. Please, friend, tell my wife that I love her and that I'm sorry I did not get a chance to say goodbye. Honor demanded my actions. She'll understand that. Tell her that I'll await her on the other side. And he's dead. If you think he's going to get a uh, burial, that's not going to happen. Thank you both. Your bravery and honor are unmatched. It is a tragedy to see what has befallen Lucero, but the tale of his deeds will live on. Indeed they will. We don't need that shield. There is, however, the matter of this final spider here that we're going to have at the with. It's a big nasty foe, and it moves quickly, but this weapon really does deal with it faster. So there's a reason to keep the uh, two-handed sword about, because not every foe is affected equally by it. Those ones were resistant to lightning, and so took a lot more damage to be felt. Now, let us uh, deal with you. We need you to turn around. There we go. And we'll make our way back to Trinsic, as we have a chalice to make into a sigil. If that is your move forward. Yep, you're moving forward now. Ha-ha! And you're gone. Cross back over to here. Defeat this crab as well. Also, that potion. Still doing a good job. Those potions last a very, very long time. Just need to get over to here. Hello! Don't mind me. I'm just making my way back to Trinsic. You don't want to have at thee with me, but you did anyway. I believe you also dropped a piece of... Yep, that looks like leather armor to me. And there's another crab doing the crab sideways shuffle. Greetings! Do you wish to have at thee? You do! That's folly, but if you wish to, I can't stop you. Have at thee! More gold for me. And the crab slid back some more. Ooh. You're here. I'm curious as to how many strikes this weapon takes to defeat you. Let's find out. Nope. One! One strike with that weapon to defeat you. That is a mighty blade, to be sure. Good thing I found it. You can very easily miss that weapon if you're... Darn it, if you're not observant enough. You can, uh, just walk right on by and never encounter it. There are many items like that in the Ultima series that you can just not spot and uh, like the Ice Sword. Also, just going to re-equip these because another crab is here. By the way, the uh, as you can see there, jumping distance when you're uh, wearing the leggings of Sentry. That's what the uh, magical leggings are called. A lot bigger. And we'll just take you on. A few more hits. And you're gone. And so, when we come back, folks, the final paladin of Trinsic has fallen. But with honor restored to the city, perhaps more paladins will 
arise. Maybe paladins who had lost their way will return to the city. And then, honor will be once again upheld by that order. But to do that, we're going to have to cleanse the shrine. And next time, we will do just that. Maybe the ghosts will finally be quiet after that. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.